watch. And, single, <laughs> and singles Game & Watch is just really easy, has kind of a higher yeah, skill floor. Uh. But in doubles, Game & Watch is legitimately not an okay character to exist. <laughs> because he can just throw out hitboxes, and then with, with how hectic doubles is, people can just run into it all the time. Especially if you have a teammate who knows what Game & Watch does. It's really not good. Loyal going to take that apple right there. Um, I hope Loyal's not having a hammer happy day, because sometimes Loyal just throws out hammers and then dies, because hammer is not a good option that you should use ever. <laughs> so I know uh, we kind of have 1v1s going on here between uh, Loyal and Tristan, and then yep. Mac and Zeno. And I don't know, it's, it feels like, oh, okay, never mind. Tristan <laughs> just throwing out the Tristan down air. That's Honestly, good. that's just a trademark of his character now. Yeah. Sometimes he'll just throw out a down air neutral and it kills you. It's one of those things where kind of like each person's respective teammates doing better. So like Loyal is winning on okay on one side, and then Tristan was winning on the other side, and Tristan yeah. just took the last blood. So one thing about the Game of Watch Toon Link matchup that's really overlooked sometimes is that Game of Watch has to be really, really, really careful about uppies and uppie out of shield in particular, because Toon Link, if they know that Game of Watch is going to go for uppie out of shield because it's generally the best option, can just throw out a down air and you'll go right into it. Man. So you'll see Tristan a lot of the time will just. When Game of Watch is shielding, just use empty pressure, wait for a second, then jump up down air, and it'll get him. So one thing I want to point out is, like, Loyal did a really good job of holding his first stock, but he was just kind of, like, cornered by a Mac, and he just lost his next stock, while Zeno Kids was, like, bouncing between trying to finish off Tristan and maybe going to help uh, Loyal. Ooh, that was a really good read of the jump. Yeah. But they managed to close the gap yep. uh, quite nicely, but Loyal is still, still down pretty uh, yeah. by a lot. Both Charizard and Toon Link kill off the top, and so on a late character like Game Watch, they're going to be getting kills at 60, 70 percent over and over and over again. Yeah, so right now, Red Team's at a bit of a deficit. They can still do this. And especially when they have, like, Sonic, who's a very good GIMP character. Game Watch has pretty good GIMPs. I feel. Yeah, Game Watch's GIMPs are definitely very, very effective. Especially against Spacey's. Oh, it's... It's really great. And one thing that Michael or uh, uh, Zeno Kids is kind of having a hard time figuring out what he wants to do, even though he keeps getting these confirms after. But they had a situation where like Loyal, like he left Tristan on the edge guard to go over to help Loyal, but stopped mid stage and went back. So he could have either got an edge guard, he could have went for the two v one, and he just kind of messed up both. Yeah, that's that's one unfortunate thing about Sonic is that sometimes you have to just hard go for one option. If you don't get that, you're in a bit of a bad position. Yeah. So I don't know. That's that's one thing I think would really help change the tide oh, of this uh, whole doubles match is if you figure out like what he wants to do. Fun fact, if you're on a platform, um, like a small platform, like a PS2, once a game watch grabs you and down throws, you actually can't do anything. You can just cover that with down smash if it's timed well enough. Yeah. Okay, so this is still doable. Uh, Zeno, no stranger to 2v1s. He's probably one of the, the more clutch people in SDPM. Um, cause Sonic's also a great character for 2v1s because he can just run around, get straight hits, and bring it back very slowly. Yeah, it has a lot of, you know, momentum <laughs> once he gets going, and he can still get some gimps to come back relatively safely. So even right now, like, it's hard for them to get any solid hits until, you know, I say yep. so. There you go. <laughs> Take it with a solid two stocks. Uh, Neighbor and Tristan were just kind of walling them out that match. Xeno Kids and Loyal need to really find some ways to get in because they were just stranded in the middle of the stage a lot of the time. And like I said, um, there were times where they could have even got like a juicy 2v1 or else they could have uh, gone for like low percent gimps on yeah. whoever was out or even mid percent. I think Xeno should definitely go for some more like risky options because he's just playing safe all the time. But because of that, Tristan and Neighbor just 2v1ing Loyal. Yeah. And because Game & Watch is actually paper, he's going to die really, really early over and over and over. Exactly. So like he really needed help there a couple times and instead of, you know, getting the help he needed, they, or Zeno was try, trying to figure out what the best option was. Yeah. So, like, he needs to think a little bit faster, man. He's Sonic, man. He's you gotta, gotta go fast. Got to. So, I don't know, man. What, what, what are you thinking? Uh, if I were Zeno and Loyal, I definitely want a stage that has a much higher ceiling. Because Game Watch and Sonic can both kill off the top, but they're both more horizontally inclined, I'd say. Mm -hmm. And Game Watch dying off the top at like yeah, 60, 70 Game is just way too bad to try and risk a low ceiling. Because Loyal lost a lot of stocks there. Yes, and, absolutely. Um, that's definitely Charizard's fair kick off the top, up air, a B, up smash. I'd say maybe. Maybe Delfino, maybe even Dreamlands. Uh, Dreamland, okay, Smashville, uh, that's a solid, safe pick. Um, I definitely want to go for... Survivability. A, uh, 
Yeah, yeah. I want to go for more survivability because they lost by quite a bit last match. They just kind of got... I don't want to say dominated. Oh, God, wow. nine. So dumb. Uh, <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe they wanted to get rid of some platforms from Tristan? Yeah, that's definitely a good idea, because when Tristan has platforms, he's just going to AGT and do bomb shenanigans the entire game. And that was good. He came and helped out Loyal, because that could have been a really bad situation. So I'm glad that Xena... Oh, give me your cancel. Oh, don't roll backwards when Game Watch grabs you. If you're going to tech, make sure you tech outward also. Oh, just, it's just uh, it's to avoid the hammer uh, yeah, coverage? It, yeah, because down smash covers a lot of angles, when you, when, even when you do tech it. If you tech in place or you tech away, you can still get hit by down smash. And generally, like, nine times out of ten, Game Watch is going to go for down smash out of uh, down throw. Unless you're below kill percentage, it'll probably go for a re-grab. Or a Dacus. Or it just gets confusing, because you you're have to you supposed to DI away from Game Watch's throws, but then you also need to tech roll the other way. So it's really difficult to react in time to that. So, I mean, right now, Red Team has a pretty healthy lead. Like, Blue Team's almost back in kill percents. And, of course, I say that, and oh, stuff starts... And, yep. You just oh, look and slow. two kills. Good. Oh, that but was there's really the Nair confirm. confirmed. No DI, really, uh, from... Oh, yeah, Loyal's getting a bit too down throw happy, because he's been getting them a lot this game, and so he went for that in a situation where back throw would have been the optimal thing to do. Oh, Loyal kind of goes veer towards the left when he should have followed the combo towards the right. So I don't know. Right now, if I was Tristan and Mac, I mean, like, Mac's just so big. So he's getting a lot of, like, extra hits from everything. Oh, yeah. Uh, Loyal should definitely throw it up. Oh, that was very scary. He yeah. should definitely throw it a bit more bacon just because Charizard's going to absorb that like a sponge. Uh, he also needs to correct what he's doing with his throws right now because, oh, good balloon pop by Tristan. That's how we do it. <laughs> I feel like at this point, like, Red Team could just kind of chill a little bit. Yeah. So I think they're still trying to, like, push this advantage, and I feel like, oh, and Tristan SDs. Yep. Uh, so in, in doubles, Tristan kind of has a tendency to get flustered once he's down by a little bit, especially if he gets killed very early. He'll start to just play really, really lazy and act very predictably, uh, especially against Game Watch, because he does not like Game Watch in doubles. Uh, reasonably so, because that happens, and Game Watch is just a really... Really frustrating to play against, especially in doubles. So oh, I like this. Right I now. like this. Oh, and there's the fair to cover Team that. Team combo. Um, so six stocks to one. Yeah, neighbor just taking the option to die. So I don't know what happened there. Uh, I think <laughs> just, no, no, no. Just, oh, oh, oh. I just mean that. that like to for it to be a six stock. Right. Because it was saying somewhat respectable. They were down by like two stocks, and then next yeah. thing I know, it's just they didn't take any more stocks. Well, just got some great Game Watch combos. Xeno got a couple great gimps, and then they're down by and a at lot. At least one Tristan SD. Yeah. yeah. And, and one then. fault of Neighbor's Rule is once they're down, they go down hard. Oh, uh, this could go either way. We're getting much better yeah. at uh, recovering one from losses. They're in a similar situation against uh, me and. Me in a war just a few minutes ago, and they came back game three pretty hard. So, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, I probably go. Uh, so he's uh, they're going a uh, big stage for I yeah. imagine space and camping, mm -hmm. which once again will increase at least Game and Watch survivability, mm -hmm. arguably Sonic as well. Yeah, I'd say Delfino is probably a solid choice. Maybe Dreamland, but on Dreamland, Sonic lives a pretty long time, and Game Watch lives a long time also. Yeah, Delfino's a little smaller. Mm -hmm. I said Delfino's or Dreamland are probably both solid options. And, I mean, the way I see it is Charizard's, Charizard's uh, you know, one of those heavy floaties, so he's probably going to be able to live pretty well. So, like, even though the other team can survive longer, like, you should also. Toon Link has more room to, you know, DI up and try to AGT back or oh, yeah. whatevs. Uh, these platforms in Delfino, they're really, really interesting in gameplay because they can they change the, the dynamic of the, st of the stage so much. And Lily grabbing the bomb there. Like, you can go from a stage that's more uh, inclined towards the center, so oh, that you can do a lot of... Yep. Oh, oh yeah, Charizard's not going to make it back there. Yeah, that was... When Charizard goes down a little gnarly. bit, like, bottom right corner, he's just going to go down. And also, this stage is really weird in doubles, because doubles matches tend to last longer, and so you'll see f formations that you don't really see in singles that much. Yeah. So I don't... I can't remember if it loops back anymore. Even if it does, like, you'll get to, like, the end yeah. of one of the rotations for sure. Yeah, because all the formations are timed. Like, they're not random. It does the same sequence every single game. So, I mean, like, right now, yeah, Mac is getting messed up. Like, Tristan only has 71, and he finally took a stock from the other team, so that's good. But Mac, after losing that first stock and already at 122, like, the survivability is not helping, oh, my lord, on their team at all. Oh, wow. 
So, I mean, I respect that Mac just kind of like knocked him off there for a second, went to go help out Tristan. It's Tristan stock tanking, so you definitely need to hold on to his stocks. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just want Tristan to fly around with those four stocks as long as possible. Yeah, kind of buzzing around like a fly. <laughs> Bombs, boomerangs flying out, like yeah, Tristan's magic like, joints. I wouldn't quite call Tristan a bee, but because bees die after they sting you, he's a very, very big and annoying horse fly. Just throwing bombs at your face and buzzing around everywhere. And Neighbor definitely just reached for that uh, forward air, but he didn't get punished too hard for it. Oh, and unfortunate SD from Loyal. Mac was kind of debating whether or not he wanted to, like, edge guard or if he wanted to go help. He's kind of, like, threatening with presence. And yep. it worked out. And finally taking that stock from Tristan, that's good. They, that was kind of critical that he dies very soon. So somehow this game is back to even. I mean, you know, give or take. And yeah. that's... Oh, yep, there we go. Blue team has Tristan the has, like, such good awareness in doubles because he just knows when to throw out those down airs. Yeah, so this is, um, they were down by a lot for a while, and now they're ahead. Yeah, like, I mean, Tristan's kind of the key here, because he's just, like, interrupting, he's carpet bombing, he's staying safe. Yeah, Tristan's playing amazing this game. He's just, I mean, he's just playing it safe. Also, in doubles, when you're playing against Neighbor's Rule, uh, usually, I mean, this, this tends to happen on like game three to me, but you'll start to forget about Tristan and you, it starts to leave your mind that you need to go after him because you're just so focused on, you know, getting neighbor and doing what's in front of you. You and get like, tunnel vision. It would really help if like, because this is kind of like the M2K and like HBOX strategy where like, you know, M2K will just camp ledge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is very, very similar to that. But like, if you aren't killing HBOX and killing him quickly, like, if he's 2v1ing or, you know, like getting the assist every. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Bad to see there. Loyal, not very happy about that. Yeah, this 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 one's probably going to be over. Because yeah. on this stage... Because really, in doubles, the best thing to do is just suffocate Tristan. Because Neighbor, neighbor can't help Tristan as much as Tristan can help Neighbor. Yeah. And so that's that's usually what happens when Neighbor's Rule loses. But then Game 3 or, like, you know, in long sets, like Game 5, you just forget to go against Tristan. And then suddenly you're down four socks to one like this. Yeah. Great showing by Neighbor's Rule. Going to go into Grands. Winner's side. Yeah, so if you're not killing... If you're not killing Mac, mm -hmm. then he's just adding all that damage on you and Tristan's being untouched. Oh, so. yeah.